Lester's gone off to the shop to get some um, plonk. Um, sometimes you've got to do it, haven't you? Anyway, we had a quick uh, check round the uh, animals just a little bit ago. It's near feeding time, a bit of a grey day today, but it's uh, good and wet. The thing is, those piggies and the um, the new little piggies, struth they're rotivating up their plot. Come and have a look. Right, I'm going to turn you around so you're going to go through the gate. So you're going to be inundated with the sheep. Hello. Oops, Gussie. Gussie, we don't do that, do we? Thank you very much. Thank you. That's bad manners. Okay, oh, look at this lot. Oh, they're all wanting to go to bed. Look at that, on top of the remains of the haystack. Hay, hay pile, don't we call that? Look at these two little things. Look, look. Look. Dirty noses. The there. And look at their paddock. That's where you can see it very well. It's all muddy. Well, half of it is. Look. Breakout arses. Look. In the space of about three days. Look. And then over by the house. Um, in in this bit, oh my fingers are obliterating it there. They've digging a hole, and um, so I'm most impressed with their ability to be motivators. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Can I walk you down the um, uh, driveway? Oh yes. All the chickens are all out having a last minute forage. Now the thing is, I'm going to get over the electric fence, and it's I'm going to switch it off. Actually, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> electrocute myself. I flipping electrocuted myself yesterday. Well, not much. But I was um, picking the, see an elegant step over Onubuto and the other Buto. Oh, that's not a very good idea, because now I've got to clamber over the... Oh, I'll get myself into such pickles when I'm talking to you. Oh, and turn the electric fence. Now, that's not very good, because the doggies are in the other side of the fence. Oh, oh it's true. They're been stinging it all. Come on, you two. Come on. Come through. Come through. Thank you. Right. Head back over the side of the wood pile. Ah, getting stung and leaning. Oh! <laughs> Blooming nettle. Turn the fence back on. Oh, I'm leaning against it. Oh dear, I didn't get a shock though. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. Anyway, I see. Oh, this I wanted to show you. We're starting to get lots of uh, blossoms up. And look at this little tree. Oh, it's been in for two years. Huh, not a very good view of it because the tractors. Oh, very pretty. Oh, and the tractor. Bless. The thing is, with the tractor, I know I'm diverting a little bit. But the tractor's got a flatty. See? So we can't drive it. So um, I don't know what he's going to do about that, but he's not very happy. Anyway, um, look. Now, this is the a little flock of girls. And you see that bum in the middle? Look, it's now turned up. This is the new. Ah, oh, dear, I stung my flipping legs. Oh, and they're tingling. Oh. Uh, dock leaf, Robin with a dock leaf. Look, this cockerel. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's our new cockerel. <laughs> um, white is uh, no more. Um, and see that oak tree, which has got the tractor to one side and the tree to one side, what I've just shown you. Yeah, White is buried under the tree. Now, the reason why he had to go was he too small. He was too small. Um, 
and we did give them a chance to say hello to the new cockerel but oh but they did fight oh it was quite dire and we separated them or rather gas separated them and we put whitey in in a um uh box see if he would calm down and he didn't and we let them out again see if they'd sort it out but it, it wasn't good and anyway you know white is now in heaven but we wouldn't eat him we couldn't put we couldn't we couldn't eat him so he's been buried in our first of our pet cemeteries we wasn't a pet but you know he was our first cockerel and uh, you know it was just honour really that we gave him a suitable dispatch now it's been raining only yesterday and these two want their dinner so they're going to be a bit um, frisky and everything anyway look what they've done to their paddock and I don't suppose you can really see it and I'm not going to go in there to uh, give you a close-up view because Maxi see Maxi is about two or three days um, past um, Tess and Tess's season. The thing is that piggies only have about a day in season, female piggies, so he's got, on, got to get on board to do the job in a matter of hours. The thing is that he gets all tanked up for it um, and then he takes about five days to get to get over the effort of um, being ready to mate. He's uh, Bless him. Anyway, they want their dinner, but Lester's out um, shopping for some plonks, as I said at the beginning. Anyway, this is their paddock. I'm going to walk you around the side because they're flipping good rotavators, I tell you. This is in a day. I mean, they'd gone over the surface of it and got all the weeds and that, all the grass and that up. But, you know, they're like digging for gold. You know, yeah, I know, you're hungry, aren't you? Anyway. <sighs> blossoms are out. Anyway, I'm going to go back indoors because I'm a little bit chilly. Oh, my legs are tingly. I'm going to get a dock leaf. Hang on a minute. Let's go find us a dock leaf. <laughs> a dock leaf. Picky up the dock leaf. Raise the skirt to expose leg. Rub dock leaf on sting. Ah, oh, booly. I can Ah, Booley's helping. See? See, ladylike, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, well, that should take care of the sting. And um, I'll sign it off now and say cheery ho for now and God bless and um, see you soon. <laughs>